Welcome back to the Common Game. Today we're going to go through some uh, recent acquisitions, I, I guess, in our treasure hunt series. So let's uh, let's get to it, shall we? Um, that looks fairly assorted. I don't uh, I don't exactly know what we're going to find, but that's why we're doing it. Uh, desecration play. I don't remember that one. This. I wonder if this whole box is green. Uncage the Menagerie. That's a mythic. Uh, search your library for X creature cards with different names and have them that each have uh, CMC X. Reveal them, put them in your hand. Huh. That's neat. I can see that for like, uh, you know, a tribe that has. There's. I use the heck out of an Elvish Mystic, don't I? Uh, let's see. Hunting Triad is. Pretty good. I, I didn't get a whole lot of, of Commander 14. I just got the one of each deck, so uh, the binders always need those. There's Grun. Yeah, so Recollects. Eh. More Grun. Utopia Sprawl. I definitely use that. Uh, Guardian Project. Whenever it knows a non token creature enters the battlefield under your control, if it doesn't have the same name as another creature you control, or a creature in your graveyard, draw a card. So that's this is perfect for Commander. It's rare. Song of Frey Elias. Deep Root Elite. <coughs> Excuse me. Whenever another Merfolk is about to fill in your control, put a one wing counter. Hmm. Naturalize. I don't use Naturalize as much as I used to. So an Advocate in the dual deck. Fresh meat. Life's legacy. Wow. That's a Terastodon. And a Lanawar. Creeping Mold, Pounce, Archetype, Greater Good, Elvish Mystic. Those are pretty good. Here, here let's use these sleeve cards as dividers. Are they? Yeah. We'll use those as a divider. We've done what's on this side of it. Exemplar of Strength, Tuscard Captain, Champion Aronis, Rare, uh, Life Cavalry, Fuse Band, Statistician, Nettle Sentinel, that's not bad. That's a, an original Nettle Sentinel, too. That's from Eventide. Sky Sweeper. Yep, it totally looks like this is a box of just green, which is fine with me because I, I've noticed uh, I, uh, I can't. Well, not a box of green. That's a snap. That's decent. Liquify, kind of like liquify. I've used it. Negates. Mana leak. Supreme Will, I like that one. Dissipate. I remember when Dissipate came out. That was a beautiful card. When you absolutely positively got to get rid of something forever. A lot of Throne. So it's not entirely green. Okay. Some tokens and some basic land. That unclaimed territory. I don't have a lot of those left. Evolving Wilds. These are uh, guild kit basic lands, aren't they? For the most part. Simic, Demir. Uh, I use all those duels a lot. Put some of these basics up. Ooh, that's a 6 6 dragon. That token I have a hard time getting uh, enough of because the. Um, this is what Udvara Hellkite puts out, and most of uh, of the uh, of the tokens, of the dragon tokens are five. Oh, it's a cat dragon token. That's adorably scary. I don't care who you are. Adorably scary. Basics. 
So, it's just kind of a amalgamation of everything. More cat dragons, more basics. Oh, yeah, see, I am looking actively for the Selesnia basic lands for a project that I am working on. Obviously, a Selesnia deck. Lock those full arts. More blue and tokens. Voja! Pull that one out because Voja is. I think I'm going to need that for that Selesnia deck. Ikoria, huh? Dominera. I'm telling you, Aspect of the Hydra is better than people give it credit for. In in Mono Green, it, it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's not quite the um, one that counts the forest, which name escapes me right now. But uh, still pretty good. Get rid of the cow. Broken Bond. Man, I was so stoked about Broken Bond when it was previewed, and then I realized it's a sorcery. <laughs> Thorn Elemental used to be rare. Oh, that's a pretty Yavamai Elder and a Far Haven Elf that I will use. I'll use that Elemental Bond, Nakata War, or uh, Nak Wild Nakata. Talar's Battalion. I just have never been able to reliably play that card. Uh, I'm still looking. Uh, I, I, I have recently gotten a whole bunch of elf cards. Or I've stumbled across it in all, all these boxes. So, so the next elf uh, elf legend that they make me build <laughs> uh, I am I am prepared for. Forerunners. Hard expeditions. I use that a ton. We got here. More green. Sidebinders. Elite small fist. Naturalize. A lot of a lot of hills versus goblins in, in this. That looked like my Elvish Warrior I, I had from way back. I used to uh, I used to laugh at the people that would have sleeves, you know, because the only sleeves way, way back were those penny baseball card sleeves, you know. And it's like, eh. I'm a player, I'm not a collector. Well, as it turns out, it's almost impossible to be one and not the other, right? Of course, then cards started getting worth money. and Yeah. Now, uh, here I am like a triple sleeve commanders and double sleeve this. and Yep. Another elder of a different printing. I don't know how many of these boxes will will do today, but I figured we could just do it until we stop caring about it. Four four dragon basics. Some more counter magic. Kind of looks like the same handful I went through earlier. A lot of duplicates. There's our divider. Song of Frail Eyes. Natural Obsolescence is this card, I believe, gets overlooked quite a bit. It is. Come on, autofocus. 
put target artifact on the bottom of its owner's library. Darksteel Forge is what what makes this a real card for me. Um, you know, all those indestructible things. Yeah. I know that's not a particularly dominant card. I, I mean, yeah, it, it's very, very good, but not everybody runs it. And the people that do run it, you know, you got the chance you might not draw it or it, it even see play. But um, Natural Obsolescence is a sheer way to... Uh, that's a Rebecca Glayland. We'll put that out. Uh, Arcane Sanctum. Boy, those kind of got e eclipsed, didn't they? Lots of guild gates. Whoop. Last handful for this fat pack box. Or bundle box, whatever we're... Cancel, Protege. I love that border there. Turn to Frog. Ether Ghost, Zephyr Charge. A lot of just pretty much bulk uh, is what's in this one. Uh, yeah. But. I always look because there are times when I am needing bulk, you know, because I, I go through a ton, ton of cards. Oh, this one's got, do these have anything in them? No, that one's empty. That one's empty. Oh, oh. what are these cards? Foil, Sultai Charm. Foily, seen some play. Uh, a vapor snag, gloom sower, mystical teachings, not bad. What is this this land? Yeah, that's Icoria Basics. This kind of looks like all Icoria. There's Fertilid. Those things, I wonder if those things are going to ever be a thing. Full Art Planes. We're going to set them out. All kinds of Full Art Planes. Orzhov Planes. Yeah. I'm having trouble. Charnel Troll. Debridge Goliath, Savra, Graveshell. This looks like a, a precon, maybe? Golgari Lands. Insects. Oh, hey. Probably going to use those insect tokens, won't we? Capture Sphere. Of course, I pull out all foils. Because <laughs> I'm that person. More Icoria. This box is going to go a little quicker, isn't it? Plane, Sleeper Dart. I'm pretty much looking through here for anything. Uh, yeah, this was the part that really... Because these are essentially the same product, they're even numbered one, but these are card thickness, and this is just really thick. So I think this was the one that came in the pre-release kit, and these were the ones that came in the packs. So it kind of makes me wonder if these are going to have any long-term value or whatnot. Mm. And if so, which ones? I would say probably the thicker one, the pre-release only one. I do not know. Some of the stuff with this game is super weird and swingy. Uh, stuff that I thought was... I mean, empty booster packs are worth something from years old. So, who knows? Well, that's it for that box. Now we get... This one. 
feels full. Oh, it is full. Like a card in a sleeve. We'll use that as our divider. So if we can get in there to get cards out. Okie dokie. Ooh. Ooh. Some Pringle action going on. Non foils. A lot of. What is that? Hour of Devastation. I don't know that there's a lot of things that I use a whole lot of out of Hour of Devastation that are not rare, but I'm guessing there's probably not a ton of rares in this particular box. Because you know most people put their rares in. Okay, there's another weird token thingy. Most people keep their rares and stuff separate. Just what I've noticed. What are oh tokens? Lots of tokens. Artifacts. Here we go. No normal big artifact person. Now this Altar of the, of the Pantheon. I really like it. Yeah, it's a three mana mana rock, but it's any color. So that's you know about the standard, um, but it increases your devotion. I kind of like it. I mean, obviously you're only going to use it in monocolor decks. Hey, there's that Piper, the Piper that we've all got, you know, thirty of. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a big old box of common Pringles. Hadn't had any real hardcore action today, have we? Uh, nothing that, uh, unless I, I miss some, y'all feel free. If I've missed like that super uncommon or whatever, y'all let me know. But as I said, I'm kind of looking for stuff that I uh, am going to use. Let me check that out. Those are Pringles. Those are not. Oh, these is dual deck. Another battalion. Impasse. A couple of Mystics. A couple of Vanguard. Leaf Gilder. It's like the whole uh, elf deck there. Minus of the rares. For the rares that matter. Alter. Bronze sword, mirror shield, altar. Banners. That's a locket. That's a Celestia locket. I don't think I have one for that deck yet. Ula's Crusher. That's a thing. Animation module. I was actually looking for animation module for a deck the other day. Yep. In that uh, mono white plus one counters deck. I've already got that listed and done. I think I've got it done. I don't think y'all seen it yet though. It's hard for me to remember what. Because uh, I. I, I typically operate uh, a day or two ahead of times. You know, before I went on vacation, I, I, I was like 10 or 12 days ahead. There's another Pillar of Origins, good for slivers, if nothing else. Conqueror's Galleon. Well, that kind of looks faded, almost. Reed Stalker. Encampment. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we're going to find a, a surprise in here. But that's just the way it goes with random, you know, it's, it is random. 
so you never know. Hush up, Oasis. It's fun to say. Liliana's defeat. Yeah. Well, the upside, though, is I have found some cards that I'll actually use. Uh, which is awesome. River Hoopoo. Sandblast disposal mommy. Yeah. See the thing about this is uh, I uh, with Dominaire and our devastation and all that, uh, I uh, I went pretty deep on it, so there's not a lot that I do actually need from those sets. Um, at least a ways not that would, you know, be in a bulk box. Break in bulk, as it were. So much good stuff. <laughs> that shows funny. That's a path raiser of Ulamog. That's not a bad uncommon, I might say. Sometimes you just need the 9 9 annihilator. <laughs> annihilator is such a powerful mechanic. Prophet of the Peaks. Gingy! I am actually low on, on Gingy's. Last handful here. Yeah. I'd say. Yeah. Not too terribly amazing today, but you know. Still. Pretty good stuff. Had uh, uh, some stuff for the Celesnia project I am working on. And then uh, some, some good cards that I use a lot. Random bulk rares. Uh, good stuff. I am satisfied. Well, that's it. That's what I've got for today. I do appreciate y'all watching. And uh, uh, we'll continue on next time.